Hey guys, welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to be building a tavern designed for use in a roleplay server. This build is modded and you can see the list of mods on screen now. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. The material palette for this build is stable and the tavern set from the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod, a pretty nice standard for the medieval style. I got started by using the stable fence foundations to draw us the base plate you can see from the blueprint on screen, though I would add the rear side 2x2 section a little bit later. I covered the fence foundations with Namidian ceilings and added a 2x2 gateway to create the entrance to the tavern. Next I began on setting up the first floor with pillars. I used the pillar extensions from the Glass Constructions mod to place pillars in the corners and at regular intervals surrounding the build, which will allow me to build off-centre ceilings to jetty the first floor. Jettying is pretty common of medieval European structures, as it was used as a way to avoid tax based on the amount of space a building actually took up on the street, thus the upper floors would overhang the dimensions of the floor below. Once I'd set up the pillars, I used the same Numidian ceilings to draw out the first floor, onto which I then ran stairs down to the ground floor and began to place pillars similar to how it was on the ground floor. Rather than Numidian pillars, I chose to instead use the much thinner tavern pillars, so as not to overcomplicate the first floor any more than necessary. I next moved to the ground floor and began to build the walls. I used tavern stone with plentiful windows around the build, built up to two tiles high. Tavern Stone is a really nice set from the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod. I'd definitely love to see a stone set like this in the base game. It's a very clean yet well designed set full of texture and the window options are really something. It works really well for Medieval. Next I moved back up to the first floor. After adding a few more ceilings and fencing off the gaps, I then began to build up the walls here. The first floor is going to have four bedrooms available for rent, alongside a slightly more private area to eat or drink away from the busy tavern floor. I built this floor up using the non-stone tavern walls, a really extensive set again from Dude's Delightful Decorations, with tons of wall and window options. It is perfect for medieval designs. A lot of the walls have different designs that either work on their own or in combination with other pieces, so the choice of which to use is all your own. I like to have a small pattern in the walls, not anything too busy, so I use some of the more decorative walls to attempt to create said pattern. I built the four bedrooms and the walls sit at one tile high. Next for the roof gables. I wanted to make sure the roof was as unique and attractive as possible, so it's important to make sure the roof design is solid with the gables before actually constructing the roof. I built open gables facing forward over the larger bedrooms, then a larger open gable roof running horizontally across the middle, and then I also added smaller open gables again facing rearwards at the back over the smaller bedrooms. Next it was time to build the roof itself. Dude's Delightful Decorations adds some roof pieces that augment the wooden tiled roof set present in the base game, and these augmented pieces really help to make this roof set even better. Building the roof itself was quite simple. I followed the flow of the gables I had already set up, including smaller decorative pieces like roof windows where I thought they would look good. I also added another smaller open gable just before the roof came to its apex right in the centre, which helps to let the top of the roof breathe a little bit. I also extended the roof out over this gable on either side, adding supporting roof pieces to create a really nice overhang that works really quite nicely. Finally, some finishing touches. I added two 2x1 two sections outside the build that will hold some plants and greenery. I fenced those off with bathhouse fences, changed some of the rooftop caps around the build to a more decorative style, and added the rear 2x2 two two that I mentioned earlier.
Finally, when the shutter build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit and decorated the tavern quite generously, adding pathways outside and some NPCs, including the local drunk and a food vendor. Entering the tavern, it is packed to the brim with patrons. Sumerians, Terranians, soldiers and mercenaries, the tavern holds all sorts of folk and provides food and drink for a reasonable price. I also added some raised seating sections using stage pieces on either side to add a little bit more of a prestigious drinking area where necessary. The bar itself is pretty tight and narrow, with a couple of stalls for sitting and a central ordering area. There's another private table underneath the stairs, and a door that leads out to the garden, containing some tables for drinking and some familiar friends. The staff section is accessible from a door at the rear 2x2. Two two. The staff area is cramped but full of useful resources for staff members, including access to clean plates, bowls and tankards, fresh food and an oven in which to cook basic meals. Heading up the stairs, this is a much quieter transitional area between the tavern below and the bedrooms on this floor. There are a couple of chairs and tables here for those who are renting a room and don't wish to navigate the busy tavern floor below. The first floor has two smaller bedrooms on the backside, designed as a budget option for weary travellers. For the more discerning tavern customer, the front bedrooms are a bit bigger and comfier, offering a more welcoming experience for, of course, more coin. And there we have it, a tavern designed for your roleplay server. If you're a server owner looking for a nice communal hub, or just a roleplayer looking for something social to build, this tavern should be perfect for holding a fair number of guests, and providing a comfortable place for customers of all creeds. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount, and NordPass discount are available in the description below. 
However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. Any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord rolls and more. On that note a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Illfated, CoffeeMan04, Jacques, Marion Ladd, Ryan, Alfric and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you soon.